everybody and welcome to another Trey Sparks gaming video. Now I know three weeks, almost pretty much a month has passed by since I have made a gaming video on here. I actually was going to uh, release a gaming video uh, of me playing Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 uh, right after I did the uh, NBA 2K7 uh, gaming video, but that didn't happen. I was uh, busy working on some other stuff that I had ideas for for videos and uh, if you want to go check those ideas that came to fruition which was the next generation wrestling episodes you can go check those out up here they'll be somewhere you can go click on it and find it the, also that that channel will be in the channel section here on the Trey Sparks channel but uh, yeah it's been almost a month since I have made a gaming video on here. Um, before I get into what I'm going to be playing in today's gaming video, um, also I'm going to try to do these on a weekly basis. Not like I used to do where it was once a week, but I'm going to try to do them twice, maybe three times a week, or just whenever I really can. But like I was saying, we filmed a Star Wars film recently. If you want to go check that out, it's called Star Wars Bounty on the Weather News Times or Not channel. It's already at 200 views, so thank you to everyone who has watched it. It took a while to film and make. To, it took a while to make. It took two separate days to edit, so go watch it. We are planning on filming another film this coming weekend, so look out for that as well. But anyways, uh, like I said in the last gaming video, I played NBA 2K7 where I created a basketball player and played some street ball with some people. And if y'all want me to play that game again, let me know. Uh, y'all seem to like that video. Uh, I might play it again. Just let me know. Uh, but in today's gaming video, I am going to be playing the PlayStation 3 once again. Just like I did with NBA 2K7. Except this time, I'm going to be playing UFC 2009 Undisputed. Now, I can't really remember when I got this game. Uh, I know that I think this was either the first or I think it was the second UFC game I ever got. So I never have really played it that much, but I know it's a really good game. And the wheel has spoken. It chose that game. So, you know, if the wheel picks it, you know you have to do it. So um, we're going to be playing UFC 2009 Undisputed. Uh, there's a career mode on it. So, of course, you know I'm going to have to play that. And that's going to be very interesting to see uh, how that all turns out. But without any further ado, we're going to play UFC 2009 Undisputed for the PlayStation 3. So here we go. Okay, so we are here in UFC 2009 Undisputed, or the other way around. I'll have to figure that out later. Um, but we are here on the career menu, and we're going to start a new career of our UFC individual. Now I've done a UFC, I've played UFC Undisputed on the channel before, but that was UFC Undisputed 3, and y'all can go check that out if you want to. I did that sometime last year where I got my rear end handed to me. Yep, <laughs> I can, that's all I'm going to say because I literally was bad. The guy, I was bad at playing it, I thought I was going to do well. I did well in the training, and then when I actually got into a fight, it was awful. Um, but we're going to start and make the career of a new UFC fighter and see if I can actually win in this one for once. I don't have any fighters in this game because I never made anybody in this game before. Apparently there's fighter templates. I can only imagine what they look like. Oh, they got names too. Okay, we got James, Tom, Michael, Eddie, John, Reggie. Tony, Dave, Louise, Mitsuki, Andrew, Don, Andre, Oscar, Alex, and then we're back with James again. We got a pretty good amount of people. I will do this. We're Just to be more funny, I think I'm going to pick one of the presets because it'd be funny to just start with one of them and see who uh, is the best. So, of course, I'm going to pick the first guy that comes up. Let me go back. And we're going to go to Fighter Templates again, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be James. So we're going to be James, this man right here, in this game. And I don't know if you could actually edit him, but 
I don't know what his last name. Oh, okay. James the Grim Reaper Lewis. That is his name, apparently. So this individual is ready to go from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's a Floridian. Hopefully he wasn't affected by the hurricane. But here he is, the Grim Reaper himself, James Lewis, is ready to go. We're going to save this guy first. Oh, we're take oh, this you can take a picture? Okay, that's fine. I didn't know you could take pictures of people in this game, but all right. I'm kind of new to a lot of this stuff in this game because I don't know how it works. But James Lewis is the individual that is going to be dominating in the UFC arena. Welcome to the boot camp. We have to select our trainer. We either get Mike or Neven. I'm going to go with Mike because he was the first guy that popped up. Hopefully it's not a bad choice. Oh, hi Dana White. It's funny to see that Dana has been in UFC for this long. Like, he's in this game, and this is 2000, like, 8 or 9. I was, like, 8 or 9 years old, which I was young. <laughs> I was a young boy. My thing is, he's. it sounds like he's talking to us, but he's looking in all different directions, like he's talking to more than one person, and I don't understand that. Okay, we got a little pep talk from Dana White. And uh, we picked our trainer of Mike, but James Lewis... He's about to make a name for himself here in the UFC. I have no idea what's about to happen, and I don't know why there's a like a handful of people here. It looks like we are in the middle of a warehouse. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I was just supposed to hit the X button. Okay, I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. Oh, we're supposed to fight? Oh, crap. Who's this guy? I got a big chin. Oh, gosh. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, man, we're fighting now. We're fighting now. Oh, gosh, he kicked me in the head. Oh gosh, no. Do something, do something. Man, this crowd is going nuts. <laughs> and we're just in a warehouse somewhere. You're messing with the Grim Reaper. I'm about to put you to sleep. All I'm doing is kicking this man. Dude, this guy is like not even blocking any of my shots. You would think that he would. I'm putting the pound on this man. I do like the color of Lewis's shorts. It's that little yellow green color. I'm colorblind, folks, so I don't know what actually the color is. It just looks yellow to me. Let me hit something, retard! I don't even know what your name is! I'm just being on an NPC right now. Back up, back up. Get some more stamina, baby. Go. I love how they just throw you right into a fight, like... Yeah, this'll work, you know? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Let's throw you into a fight. Oh, gosh. Man, this guy is tough as nails. He won't even go down. I mean, all we're doing is kicking and punching each other. I mean, what else are we supposed to do? Oh, gosh. Hit him. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. All I'm doing is punching and kicking this man. We're both sweating to death. And all he's done is been taking all these punches and kicks from me. He's a good blocker, though. Well, he just started blocking now. Oh! 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 <laughs> he's bleeding. No! Oh! I got him! Look at that! With that right hook, baby! <laughs> Look at that. That was shocking. He like did like a spin a rooney and then fell down. Nice. I knocked him out. So what happens when you have a persistent left or a right hook. I don't know my directions. Let's watch that again. That was great. Let's watch it again. Bam! He did a little turn and fell. There's uh, kind of some blood, but there's not a lot of blood. Boom! I hit him right in the back of the head. There he goes. He's out. Oh, never mind. In the mouth. And his mouthpiece came out didn't know that all right let's go james lewis this man met the grim reaper today he spun around and fell down and met his fate on this fateful day october 19th 2022 so who was the guy that we were facing i don't know if we'll ever know shinji takata so that guy was japanese i didn't even know the guy was japanese i thought he was just a normal guy but okay Shinji Takata, and it took me almost five minutes to knock this man out. Sorry, Shinji, but I'm just better than you. All right, we got a lot of reading to do. I am not going to read this entire thing. So you think you're ready to jump right in there with some of the toughest men on the planet, huh? Well, before you do that, let's take a look at some of the basics you'll need to know, which will help you while playing through the career mode. Okay, well, I'm just going to look through really quick. Which is not going to take me that long to do, but I don't think it will. 
So we're just getting thrown right into the UFC because in uh, UFC Undisputed 3, you get put into like the minor leagues of the UFC stuff. Okay, we got an email from Dana White. I guess we were right about you, James. You're the real deal. Now that you have your first win in the UFC... I didn't even know that was my first win in the UFC, but okay. It's time to think about what's next. Who will be your sponsors? What camp will you train with? And how are you going to promote yourself to the fans? Keep checking your email to keep up on this stuff as well as fight offers from our matchmaker, Joe Silva. What you do outside the octagon is just as important as what you do in it. So make smart decisions, but most of all, keep winning. Thanks, Dana White. I appreciate you. Okay, so we have a calendar, and let's take a look at it, I guess. Oh, Joe Silva. You look great in there, James. You're getting better with every fight. After that win, I'm happy to put you on the... Oh, we're going on the fight night. 21 card in nine weeks. Which of these heavyweight fighters do you want to take on? Oh, we're a heavyweight fighter? I didn't even think about that either, what weight class I was in. Work out a game plan with your training partners, and good luck. All right, so we've got Mark Emerson from Providence, Rhode Island. Rolando Aguilar from Curitiba, Brazil. Ivan Heleno from Moscow, Russia. And that's it. So we got three choices to choose from. We're going to go with the lowest ranking guy just because I just started, and that's going to be Mr. Rolando Aguilar. So uh, we'll face Mr. Rolando as our first UFC fight. So we've got to train, do some training, you know. What exactly are we supposed to do? I don't know what exactly we're supposed to do on these things. Oh, okay. Well, I get it. Yeah, it's the boot camp's already my sponsor because... I am already at the boot camp, so why... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so... I got any emails? I don't even know if I have any emails at this point. No. I had two emails, and I just read them. So, ranking. Let's see. Yeah, Brock Lesnar's the number one heavyweight champion. That's gonna be really funny to actually... If I get up to Brock Lesnar's level, that's gonna be funny if I even beat him. But I am at the pretty much the very bottom with Rolando Aguilar. Uh, we have a bunch of fictional dudes. Oh, well, some of them. The rest of them are real people. I'm ranked number 24 out of everybody. So this is July of 2009. I don't know exactly what you want me to do. Oh, I got an email. Okay. Newsletter. Oh, right. I'm preparing for Rolando, or Rolando's preparing for me. They had a short interview with him. Got little interviews and stuff, little interesting tidbits here. Another email. The UFC 100 results are in. Wow. I'm not going to read the entire thing because it would take me more than 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, they've got, what is it? Brandon Vera versus Anthony Hardonk. That's the one that I'm on. What now? What am I doing? Was I not in the fight? I don't understand. I was, wasn't, oh, I think I was supposed to be on 21, not 20. Okay. I'm basically just skipping through this. I don't really know why. Okay, I guess we're going to spar really quick. It's funny because I don't think you could do that in UFC Undisputed 3. You could spar. I could be wrong. I didn't get to really play that game that much. But I knocked that other guy out. Okay. Okay, here's what's in store for today. Your partner here is going to be using primarily Muay Thai and Judo techniques in order to mimic your upcoming opponent's style. These fighters are usually strong at clinch striking and clinch throws. So I want you to defend against these in this session. Work your offense, but don't let your partner here work you. You ready? Who are you, dude? You got a random spider on your arm. I don't understand that. Oh, I got a tattoo on my arm, too. It's like a tribal around the arm. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Well, if I just use my right hand, it'll work, I guess. I don't like the fact that they don't let you get to know who the crap you're facing right now, because it's just a random guy. All right, boy. I'm about to, I'm about to bring you to your knees, man. You watching this, Rolando? I'm about to beat up your homie right here. I don't even know if it's your homie. I'm just kind of guessing here. Hit him with the hit him with the hit him with the left and then the right. Hit him with the left, right. Combo, baby. Hit him with the combos. Boom, shakalaka. Oh man. They're going ham. Man, we're doing like circles in the middle of the ring. It's not an octagon, it's a ring. Well, it's a sparring ring, but yeah. Hit him with the other one. Oh, go, 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 go for it. Boom, baby. Uh! Uh! 
Ooh, that was good. Okay. I got some good punches in there. It's good. All right, yeah, we shake hands. Awesome. That guy didn't do anything at all to me. He punched me and kicked me some, but that was about it. I just kind of punched him the entire time. What a wonderful spar session, dude. Didn't get to know who that guy was, but, you know. I landed 34 punches and 11 kicks and 6 elbows and knees. Most damage done, 302. That is wild. He only landed 12 and then 6 kicks. That's a lot. That's a lot. Alright, I got 22 sparring points. I get to actually use this on my stuff. I'm just adding it bit by bit here. Okay, cool. So I used all my sparring points. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing either. Maybe if I read what was this thing was about, I would be able to know. Basically all I'm doing right now is like training. And that's all that I'm doing at this moment. I'm just like clicking on the training thing over and over. Okay, this guy is also 28 years old and he's 235 pounds. And I'm, oh, I actually did go to my record 1-0. Okay, I didn't, I didn't understand that. But I, I'm 1-0 now. Uh, and I'm 28, that's pretty young, I would say. But, uh, hey, you know, it is what it is. See, okay, action for what? What's the action button doing? Am I going to fight that uh, Aguilar guy now in my second UFC fight? Because in the other one, I wasn't even in the UFC yet. Oh, I am facing him. All right. Cool. All right, so the Grim Reaper, James Lewis, takes on Rolando Razor Aguilar. This is the main event, folks, right here. We are about to see and witness the main event of this video. Oh, wow, look at that graphic. Wow. Okay. This tells you that I've not played this game at all because I don't... I've never seen this stuff before, so... This is quite wild. But here we go. Lewis versus Aguilar. UFC fight night. My second fight in the UFC. And it's about to go down. Okay, he's older than me. He's the same height. I weigh five more pounds and I have a bigger reach than him. So I'm whooping this boy's rear end. Let's go. UFC fight night. The Grim Reaper is not here to play. hey <laughs> Bro, why is my dude so slow? Okay, my trunks are yellow. I was correct. I Surprisingly, the colorblind boy got the colors right. Beautiful head. Oh gosh, that was a head kick right there. Goodness. I was if I got kicked like that in real life, I wouldn't even survive, I don't think. Hit him with the combos. Come on, homie, get get over here! You keep backing up! Caught him with bad block. I didn't even block the knee there or the leg or kick, whatever. I don't even know my body parts at this point. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're exchanging all right. I'm about to send this guy to the to to his grave because I'm the Grim Reaper. If you can't tell, I'm really using the nickname as a pun a lot. <laughs> all right, all right, back up, back up, back up. We got to back up here. Oh, I don't know how long we fought for in the last one, but I don't know if it was five minutes or not. Oh, gosh. Please don't die on me. Please don't die on me, Lewis. I did a TKO last time. I can do a TKO. Oh, go. Get him. Oh, I got him on the ground. I had him for a good second there. I thought I had him there. He fell to the ground. He fell He fell to the ground. We're off to a great start. Hit him with some kicks. Hit him with some kicks. There you go. One-two punch. One-two punch, baby. We're going to be on our way to Brock Lesnar in no time. Go. Go. Oh, gosh. He kicked me in the head. I don't care. I'm punching this guy. I'm knocking his lights out. I'm knocking his lights out. I just almost did it a few minutes. Oh! Get up! Get up! Get up, boy. Get up. Why are you laying there? Get up! Okay, thanks, ref, for helping me get up. I was trying to get up myself, but I couldn't do it. Punch him! We are not going down! How do you kick to the head? I don't know how to do that! Come on! Come on, bro! All I'm focusing right now- Oh, no. All I'm focusing right now is the head. Go after the head, boy! Okay, that was round one. Cool. I almost got him a few minutes ago, but he also almost got me too, so. I got way more excited than I thought I was going to for this. But hey, it's the UFC, man. How can you not? So we both, I just noticed, we both have cuts under our eyes. Uh, just one. Fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Bro, we're just punching air right now. Bro, I'm like hooking his head. I've noticed that a couple times. I've like hooked his head in. I am relentless! Do not back down from me! Come on. Do not mess with me. 
You are you are not an American. Americans are tough. The Grim Reaper is tough. Oh gosh. He just kicked me right in the face. Go. I don't block for nothing, son. Blocking's for chumps, bro. Dude's trying to like. Oh! Go for it! Aw oh, man, you piece of crap. You didn't even go for it. going my guy oh got him win number two baby look at that your boy has done it James Lewis with the victory of his life in front of a packed crowd in the Red Rock Casino and Spa let's go see this my friends is how you come back from a bad UFC undisputed three episode back in 2021 if you watch that video, you know I lost that last match, my first UFC match or first professional fight. This time, I redeemed myself and defeated Rolando Aguilar by myself. Nobody needed to help me. Look at that. James Lewis, the future of the UFC. All right, so I got 620 cred awarded to me. That's nice. Um, so he was one and one before the fight. So this is this would be his second loss. Hate to break it to you, man, but if you keep facing me, you're gonna lose. Um, y'all are gonna be in the comments and hey, he was a rank below you. Yeah, I tried to fight a guy who was close to my rank. So don't don't even don't even get me started. Great fight, James. Keep up your momentum. We've got a spot on the UF. In 23 card in 10 weeks, which of these heavyweight fighters do you want to match up against? All right, we got Mark Emerson, uh, Chris Graham, and Ivan Heleno. The, so we got Aguilar's not on the group anymore. Uh, now we just got Chris Graham added on there. I am going to face, let's see. Let's go with Mr. Chris Graham. Why not? So, if y'all want me to play this game again, I will be facing up against Chris Graham on another Fight Night event, uh, as he is the number 24 uh, fighter in the heavyweight division, as well as I'm currently the number... Oh, Frank Mir's the world champion now. Okay. What happened to Brock Lesnar? Did he just disappear? Where did he go? Oh, he's not, he dropped the number 7? Wow, that was quick. Anyways, uh, I am ranked, what am I right now, number 23? I went up one by winning that match, or winning that fight, I should say. But yeah, I'll be facing Chris Graham, who is right below me, so that helps a lot. But anyways, that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all want me to play this game more, uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, just leave a like on this video. Also, that helps as well, lets me know that y'all want me to make another one of these videos uh but yeah that's gonna be it for me uh like i said if you like this video leave a like down below uh comment what games i should play next here on the trace parks channel and trust me i know i keep saying that i'm going to do these videos as much as i possibly can more regularly uh it's just i have a lot of things that happen in my life that's how life works yeah it is what it is i'm gonna do my best and subscribe to the Trace Parks channel as always and I'll see you guys in the next Trace Parks gaming episode. Bye bye.